Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor. I'm going to show you the greatest water system that's ever been created for Unity. You can customize so many features of this with the LOD system, underwater support, coup sticks, surface clipping and scattering. You can take into account the shallows, the foam and everything to do with every single part of the waves and even take physics objects and have things affected by the water too. And it's absolutely free in the built-in render pipeline and it has versions for URP and HDRP too. And today I'm going to show you how to install install it, use it, set it up for the first time. So I'm going to start off with showing you how to install this. If you're in the built-in mirror pipeline, you can get it from GitHub for absolutely free. There is also an asset store version, which I do have, and you can support the developer by buying into this one if you want. And there's also a URP and a HTRP version as well. And that does lead me on to say that Unity's spring sale is coming up on April the 17th. And it's got nearly 500 assets, which will be 50% off and then flash deals every single day, which will be 70% off for 24 hours, then 60 and then 50 for the rest of the duration of the sale. And there'll be new assets added every single day. And a little secret, the Crest Ocean system will also be in there too. So make sure you add everything to your wish list. So I'll show you how to install this for URP and the built-in render pipeline, but we'll start off with the built-in and I'll put any links down below if you need to understand. So when we're on this page, I'll put the link down in the description. You can go to releases and you can see that there's tags here that there's 41. We'll click on version 4.19, which is the same as what's on the Unity Asset Store. And then you can just click to download the source code. And then if you open up this folder, you can see that there's a bunch of folders, readmes and things here. If you go inside the Crest folder, go inside assets, you can add all of these folders to your Unity project. Only this Crest folder is actually needed. The other ones are more for development or XR if you need that. So I'll just grab the Crest folder and I'm going to bring that into my working Unity project. And this is currently Unity 2022.3. And just to mention, if you are using this in your working project or somewhere you want to use it, you want to go to edit, project settings, and you want to make sure you go to player and other settings and make sure you're using the linear color space because that's when it works the best. Now you can navigate to the Crest folder and in the Crest examples, you've got a few examples for boats, samples, main, lakes and rivers. And I've just opened the ocean demo scene and you can see that the ocean scene is controlled by an object just called ocean. This is, can be an empty game object and it's got a script called the crest ocean renderer. It's got lots of parameters on, but the material is controlled by this ocean underwater material, which if you click it, it will go to the material. You can control the normal map, the scattering, the colors of the tints, the reflections and lots of different settings, including foam and how that should look. And you can adjust the SSS tint if you want to overall adjust the look of the water and its overall view you can add lots and lots of components and you can see for an example this has sim foam settings so you can change these on the fly and they used built-in components which you can add separately so if i click on this you can see that the has animated waves and foam we can adjust the foam so the shallower the area you can create more foam in this area. You can create the foam strength and this does directly affect it out in the sea when it's rendered as you get closer, as you can see there. And then as I said with other components, you can have this one empty game object called the Crest Shape FFT. And on the other type of component that you can add, which is the animated waves, you can actually adjust a resolution of how these look if you need these to be much lower resolution, if you need to be hitting much lower end devices, and you can add to the shallow depth. And you can see that even with this shader, which is the underwater, it actually does have the ability to add a shoreline type of effect. So you can see this between the camera and how that's rendered. And you can see the underwater effects it has with the coup sticks that are added with this system. There's other crest examples in another scene called the boat example. And you'll be able to see other objects that actually interact with the water surface. So here's me playing around with this. So I control this little boat and you can see it displace the waves, create foam with things that interact with it and actually affect the motion of this actual controller with other objects that can be affected by other parts of the water and create vast amounts of foam when this is going on. And there's even demos where I find this actually a little bit freaky where you can create demos which have intersection with the water to create whirlpools and other effects. And you can see that this boat is affected by the current that's surrounded and it pulls objects into that. And you can see they're gone now. <laughs> 
And I wanted to show you in this demo, this is for lakes and rivers, you can create more static bodies of water and use splines to be able to control where these things will appear along the geometry. As you can see, the water is much more static. You can still use the underwater effects and acoustics. So as you can see with this river can be connected to the lake, you can see it's built up with the crest spline system so you can select points and add points to be able to select your own. And it does have these points here which I can control in real time to adjust the movement of the water and how it should be affected along the terrain or the environment that we have. And you can see that there's an object here called the depth cache and this is used to find the bottom of any of the geometry that you have to work out where it needs to place any of your water and it sees where the bottom of the geometry is so it doesn't render too far down. But as you can see for this main body of water, this is just a game object with the Crest Ocean Renderer. It does use the lakes and rivers material, which you can see here, and you can see that how it's set up. And you can see that it does use the animated waves generator, the foam generator. In this example, there's even something called the wave spectrum generator. So you can see on this flowing river here, we can affect the spectrum of the waves too. And you can see that it will adjust the look of the waves and how much foam is actually created. And you can affect this look and this does work in oceans as well. And as I say, if we up this eight wave spectrum, to a high amount we can make it look quite crazy now for urp you must get this from the unity asset store and you can press open in unity and then when you've got that you can go to the package manager which is window and package manager and you can search for this in your assets unless it's already brought you here and then you can download and import this version and once you've clicked import let it add all the files into unity project and then make sure to install and upgrade with asset store dependencies and then you can add everything and you can press import again. Now, once that's imported, there's a couple of things that you need to remember. For transparency to work in URP, you need to go to edit, you need to navigate to project settings, and then in the pop out, you can navigate to graphics, and then you can select the scriptable render pipeline settings, and you'll find whichever one's currently being used, which is the high fidelity one in my case. And you need to make sure that you take depth texture and opaque texture to make sure that then that is functional. And in documentation, if you're going to use underwater, it's recommended to set the opaque downscaling to none or it'll make underwater look a little bit low resolution. It's also best to navigate to player whilst you're here and make sure that your color space is on linear if it's not already. And then you can do like the other examples and navigate to the crest examples. And then you will see for this example, we've got the pirate cove, which does include the intersected geometry that I talked about if you watch the built-in render pipeline, but you can intersect with other geometry to create whirlpools and other things. You can create a vast ocean system, which takes into account nearby objects and the depth of other objects too. And it has full underwater effects like I've got here. And then acoustic effects, which you can see across the floor as when the light comes over. And the ability to directly customize how much form and wave variation you have out in the middle or in more shallow areas. And this is built up again using the ocean renderer, which has settings, which has the ocean island day material on it, where you can adjust all the settings and how this should look with the animated wave settings, the foam settings. And you can see we have something called the wave spectrum, which can directly affect the spectrum of the waves. So you can see we can create lots of different ones depending on what the size of the waves, so we can make it look like a much more crazy stormy day by literally adjusting these waves so you get much higher peaks. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this scene as an example and show you how to set this up for the first time. So if we get rid of the ocean, this works in both built-in and URP. We want to create a new empty game object and I'm just going to call this my ocean. This could be an ocean, a lake, whatever you want. Then you can right click on the transform and click reset. Then what you want to do from here is you want to add a new component called the Crest Ocean Renderer. Now you want to make sure that you add the desired material. So I'm just going to search for ocean and I'm just going to add ocean underwater so we can have the underwater ability as well. You can actually set the Y position of the water and you can see on the ship when we move up and down, you can see how it affects the look of the ship. But what I want to do is I just want to keep it about zero because that's fine for this scene. You can adjust that as you want on the Y axis. And then you want to make sure that on your main camera, 
you will have that tagged as main camera. You can see now once we press play, you can see that the water has been rendered and we do have some underwater effects in there because on the previous scene all we had here is you need to make sure that your camera does have the crest underwater renderer component attached. Now if we want to begin to add waves to this, we can add a brand new game object. I'm just going to name this waves and I'm just going to reset the transforms there too. Then you want to be able to add the shape FFT component there and you will start to begin to see the waves in the environment. And you can make general adjustments to the wave turbulence and the direction and angle of which the waves move. Now, but if you want more control over this, you can actually create a spectrum map, which you can click create asset. I'm going to create a brand new component called my ocean spec. So you'll be able to see from these, if we increase the actual biggest waves, you can see that the biggest frequency of wave gets much bigger. We can make it look much more choppy and even adjust the smaller waves in between here. And again, you can select your own ocean and go to your original material, which is the ocean underwater, and you can adjust any of the surface parameters. You can affect the foam scale of what the foam will look like. Whether you want to enable acoustics, which are the effects of something underwater, as you can see the geometry in the scene and how it affects with geometry around in the area. But if you want to be able to affect the depth, you can go back to your ocean settings on your ocean renderer and look for sim settings for animated waves and we'll create a brand new asset for that. And I'll call that my anim waves. You can adjust the shallow max depth to change how shallow something will look. So the bigger, because you can see if I increase this amount, you can see on the edge here is the shallower it will become and you'll be able to see more of the terrain underneath it. And the last thing I will show is you can also create an asset for the simulation settings for the foam and various other effects. And you can affect the shoreline with how much foam should affect on any given shoreline when the water reaches that point. And you can just many, many, many settings for this water system. And I highly recommend that you check out all the demos and the documentation to get a good read of absolutely everything it can do. And be sure to check this out on the Unity Store and remember to get everything on your wish list because the spring sale is coming up on the 17th of April and you'll be able to make up to 70% savings on deals every single day. Be sure to check out my Patreon to get over 225 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And I'll put all the links down in the description for everything. A big thank you to Peter Steiner and everybody else who comes to watch the video. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.